All right, guys, welcome back. It is Punt Factor bringing you all the green-white stuff uh, splashed with some blue. That's exciting. So um, today I made a couple tweaks. I'm going to start to sort of sort of mess around with, uh, with this deck a little bit. And uh, one of the viewers, which was sweet, one of my five viewers uh, recommended that I put a Deputy of Detention and a Scavenging News main board um, and that I keep all four of the uh, incubations. So we're going to kind of try that. I can definitely see where uh, Deputy is, is very, very good. Um, and especially in those grindy games, which was kind of my concern. I wanted the main board to have a little more grind. Um, this card's fantastic against things like, I don't know, Mardu Pyromancer definitely saw an uptick um, since Season Pyromancer uh, came into the, the format. Um, so, you know, if I, if I can't swing through a bunch of tokens, this is a great way to clear it. Um, also a great way to get rid of some really annoying, uh, like, bridges, things like that. So, I yeah, this card's great. Very good, versatile card. And then uh, Mainboard Skews, just because this card grinds so freaking hard. I am keeping one Postmortem Lunge in, and those are all the changes I've made to the deck. Uh, pretty quote-unquote standard so far. Um, and then especially, I, I'm never going to cut the uh, Shalai from the main. Card's too awesome. Uh, onto the sideboard, uh, because we moved a skews from the side into the main, I decided to add in a tireless tracker to uh, kind of reinforce that mid-range grindy game plan that I feel like this deck can sometimes just be weak against. So we are going to give it one heck of a go here. And, uh, you know, let's do a queue. Let's get a little, let's get a little crazy here. Spend $2 on a game. Hope everyone's doing all right. It is the 4th of July. It's exciting times. If you're in the States, at least. Hopefully you had off work today. Had a good time. I did not have off work today, but that's okay. Can't win them all. We are playing Calibac. Calibac? Calibac. Let's, let's wish our opponent good luck. It's just good vibes, you know? Whoops. Not goodbye. Good luck. Okay, anyway. Won the die roll, so we're on the play. Exciting. This is, I think, a keep. Uh, we have so many ways of digging for, you know, CMC 1, 2, and 2 creatures that we would be able to play this on turn 2. So we'll definitely lead with a Noble. We'll be able to play this on turn 2, and then we will be able to drop a CMC 2 creature. Hopefully it's a Druid. I'm going to go ahead and just shock myself uh, with Temple Garden. It's probably fine. Then pass the turn here. Put my phone on silent there. All right. Well, that was probably a bad idea to shock in. All right, let's just hope to be uh, to combo off faster. So Giver, Giver's fantastic. I still think we're gonna lead. We're gonna lead on an incubation here. Devoted Druid. All right. So. We have a couple options. We can play the Giver now. Or we can play the Devoted Druid now, but it'll probably die. Or we can play the Giver so we'd have to shock to 15, get a planes, play the giver. I think that's what we want to do. We know he's going to have removal. I mean, it's, it's a burn deck. Um, then we can also hold 
our hierarch to block. So let me think here. Are we going to need that mana? So turn three. Three mana. What's coming? Devoted Druid. Yeah, we're definitely... Let me just think if we want to block. So next turn we play Devoted Druid. And we have one mana to search. And then the following turn we're going to have three mana plus Devoted Druid. Yeah, I don't think we need this mana here. So we're definitely going to just go ahead and block. Surprised we're not killing the giver. We ha He has to kill the giver of runes, right? No? Okay. Yeah, okay. There we go. Three cards in hand. So let's just go ahead, play out the druid. Why don't we cast this? Let's go ahead and get get the other piece of the combo here. Court of Calling. Crap. So 10. Oh, he didn't have it. Okay. I was just thinking if we wanted to block, um, I wasn't going to, but I mean, he would have taken us down to 10. And even if he had three bolts in his hand, we would have been at one and we would have won next turn. So unless he could get rid of the druid. Okay. So against burn, huh? Huh. We're not exactly... I don't really want to say that we're equipped to deal with burn all that much. I mean, Shalai is kind of where we want to be. Guess we'll bring in, obviously, the Knight of Autumns. We can get rid of a Deputy. It's not that good. We'll keep the Postmortem Lunge because he's going to be destroying our creatures. We'll keep the Scoos for the life gain. We can probably bring in another Scoos. Ooh, a Forge Tender. Let's get the Forge Tender in here. That's a great card. Um, I think we want to focus on just shoving the combo down his throat. So why don't we... Court of Calling is actually kind of tough to like get moving here. It's a little bit slow, and he's going to be killing a lot of our creatures, so we're not really going to be able to convoke it. We really just need to last like the early onslaught. So I think these these cards are going to kind of be our be our key. I'm almost wondering if we shave an Eternal Witness. Because I don't really think I want to go lower on this. Just because us being able to combo. We want, we want redundancy. You know, I mean, he's going to be destroying the crap out of our creatures. So we want to be able just to co like constantly hit these creatures that we need. So I think we might shave a witness. I think is probably okay. And try it like that. What? That sucks. All right, guys. Well, uh, 
You know what? We're going to jump right into another one because, yeah, that, no. At least we won, right? All right, we are p playing Ben Hollow 07. That's exciting times, Ben Hollow 07. Let's wish him luck because I just feel like that's a good thing to do. Good luck. Okay, so we have... Huh. This hand could be really good or it could do a whole lot of nothing. But because we're on the draw, I'm definitely inclined to keep it. We have a Vizier, so we have like part part of our, our combo. Um, and if we happen to play against a lot of removal, this is a really good gotcha card. We have an early giver uh, and we have a little bit of ramp. So I'm going to keep it. This hand could definitely turn out to not do, not really do much, but I guess we'll find out. Snow covered mountain. Uh, what could it be? Like a mono red prison of sorts. It's not the draw I wanted. Let's go ahead and shock this in. We probably should play... Oh, that was dumb. We should have been playing around Blood Moon. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. No, Simeon Spirit got into Blood Moon. No, Simeon Spirit got into Blood Moon. That was, that was bad. Okay, I was going to say, I don't feel like he has it, because if he did... I think he just would have windmilled it. I will start fetching up, though. Basics. It's another giver. So we'll go ahead and play both. Let's go ahead and play... The bird. Go ahead and snag. That was kind of dumb. I did that backwards. I should have played the giver off this white mana so I could have fetched up a forest. That was another small misplay that could end up costing us if he does have a blood moon and he gets rid of our bird. You know, not, not being able to... Well, I guess it doesn't hurt us... No, it would hurt us pretty bad. We would not be able to play the important half of our deck. Anger of the Gods. So I'm thinking about, do I want to lunge this Giver of Runes to protect my bird? And then I can play an Eternal Witness. I mean, that's probably a bad idea, right? Yeah, let's, let's keep this, let's keep this lunge in the, uh, in the hand here. I want to go up and fetch a basic here. Basic forest. Let's not get, not get blown out by a blood moon. Um, let's go ahead and get back our giver of runes. This also gives us like a little bit of pressure. And this hand definitely turned out to be a little dirtily. Chandra, Torch of Defiance. It's a sweet looking card. 
So this has to be like mono red prison. Chalice. Mindstone. Interesting. I have no idea what our opponent's doing. So let's start off with an incubation. Love to hit like a Shalai. We hit a bird. Let's go ahead and play Giver. Let's go ahead and play our bird. And let's put this in tapped. Go to combat. Let's hit Chandra. <sighs> so he's going to have to kill Chandra if he wants to get rid of our creature. Giver of Runes can be problematic for him, I'm going to assume. So... gonna hit me for two which he did woof okay okay Court of Calling. So like, two, three, it like just doesn't really matter. Dang. Sweepers are tough. How can we win? So we only have four mana. So he is running Blood Moon. Yeah. Do we want to cord? For one? Like, what are we hoping to, what are we trying to get? Or are we just hoping to not do this? That's fine. Sure, just play it out. It's 
it's worth noting right there that like, no, I actually wouldn't have been able to. I was going to say the um, finale of Devastation, but I wouldn't have been able to. cast it because it's sorcery okay it would have been nice if he would have like abraded one of our devoted druids just because we have this lunge here so P and Key in New Orleans the lore Okay. Honestly, this just looks like a really bad matchup. They have so much creature interaction that I think we might have a really tough time buying into this. So there's a druid. Okay, so we need like, there's a bolt. He's going to get rid of the druid. All right, guys, we need a way to find vizier and we need a, or like we need a vizier off the top so I can post mortem lunge in a court of calling and do the thing. That's what, that's what needs to happen here. Can we do it? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, goes to seven. If we post mortem lunge, the druid, we can get two mana. And take it back to the graveyard so it's there in case we get an eternal witness. That gives us two green and then we have three green so we can convoke one, two, three, four. Oh no. Yeah, this this one I think is over, because what do we have uh, deputy and we have scavenging news. Shalai would be, Shalai would be the one. But Yeah, he's just going to kill us this turn if he has a spell. I mean, he has to get rid of Chandra if he does that. And he does. Yeah. That's it. All right, next game. That would have been a kind of a tricky line, but we were just too far behind there. Um, we could have gotten the Shalai. I guess he would have had to have domed, like he would have sacked Chandra, he would have had to have hit Shalai, but then we don't have any cards in hand. Like we lose anyway. Okay, so this is tough. Knight of Autumn's definitely come in for the interaction mm -hmm. with uh, with Blood Moon. Also some mm -hmm. life gain, which is nice. Deputy stays, so we can interact with their Planeswalkers. I feel like bringing in like one Assassin's Trophy might be okay because of the Planeswalkers and some of their enchantments and their chalices especially. Like if they chalice... Huh. They would want to chalice on two though, but maybe they hit one just for the incubation and the giver and stuff like that. 
But I guess we have a backup plan of uh, Knight of Autumn and Deputy. If they chalice, that's fine. We'll put the Assassin's Trophy in for their Planeswalkers. Um, I don't think we bring in Forge Tender. Do they search their deck? No, they do not. So what do we want our plan to be against them? It's tough because their sweepers, like their angers, just completely exile, exile our creatures, which makes it really difficult for skews to be effective. I could see Tracker coming in, but that's also like a tough sell, right? Like, it's a really tough sell. I think we might just shave a little bit on the combo. I could see taking out post-mortem lunge. No, let's keep post-mortem lunge in. Uh... Shave, shave one of these. Let's take out an Eternal Witness. And... Huh. Maybe a cord. Just kind of trim around the edges. Try it like that. Did I not submit the freaking deck? I did not submit the deck. All right, guys. So we're going into this nice and blind, but we're going to keep it because we have Shalai. I didn't even notice my stupid timer. Sorry, guys. That was, that was dumb. Okay, so... I thought that was a fetch land. That's bad if they Simeon Spirit Guide into a Blood Moon. Yeah, this could be bad. It's like Simeon Spirit Guide Desperate Ritual Blood Moon. But good, they didn't have it. Perfect. We're definitely going to get a green source. And play our Duskwatch Recruiter. I hope to find a fetch land so I can get white because that would be a massive blowout if we were not able to cast Shalai. I think Shalai is going to definitely be an all-star for sure. You got it. We get a fetch land. It's not a fetch land. I almost want to play the Vizier because it kind of entices him to kill it so I can get a Shalai down. I think that's what we're going to try to do here.
Yeah, it definitely incentivizes him to uh, to do that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and jam jam Shalai. That's fine. So, if he has another Scred this turn, we're screwed. Really kind of puts us behind. If he has a Scred and a land, I guess. Okay, there's the land. Do we have the Scred? No, but we have Relic. Okay, do we have the Scred? No. So, I can try to keep ahead of him. There's my planes, which is fantastic. One, two, three, four, five. So I feel like I just pumped this up. Don't draw a scred. Okay, good. Kind of trying to stay ahead of his uh, snow permanence. I guess actually, because Shalai's out, I probably could have... I should have thought that through. I could have Elodomri's called into a druid. Okay, now he's just going to kill it. Okay, so he wasted two sweepers. So now I think we have to kind of... Huh. I think we get the Devoted Druid and hope we rip into a way... I am going to shock that in because I want to cycle this land. Especially in response to a Blood Moon or something like that. We might as well. Because we want we want as many looks as we can to finding. Okay, so Blood Moon, let's go ahead and cycle this. That's kind of a rough draw, because I well, I guess no. I ha if the Druid lives, I have the Druid to try to find a Dusk Watch, and of course he has the anger. Okay. <laughs> sure. There's the druid. But unfortunately, we can't play it. But what I can do... Play the. Okay, wait a minute. So next turn, Druid. I think we just sandbag this stuff. Because why have Vizier sit out there for two turns when I can Druid and then just go off? You got it? Good 
good. Sure. Do it for just to make sure there's nothing else that we want. No, we want a Duskwatch recruiter. I did not mean to refill my hand. Okay, so let's sideboard appropriately here. Let's go that, let's go that. Um, let's not think about this quite as hard as I did before. Let's just shave our witnesses. Like he's not, he's angry in our board. It's pointless. Assassin's Trophy. Um, we honestly, we can get rid of Askew's. And I don't want a rhetoric. No, 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 no. Go down. Uh, yeah, let's go down incubation. Submit. Delicious. Hardcore apple. All right, so we have half of the combo. We just need like a payoff. I mean, he's going to have like a million and a half things to blow up our creatures, but. Let's see if we can. See if we can get there. I paid $2 for this game. Actually, no, I didn't. Never mind. I played. I paid play points. So there it is. There's the. There's the combo schwambo there. I feel like asking for our druid to live against a deck with this much creature removal is uh, a pretty tall order. Yeah, you got it. I'm good with you killing a dork. It's a nice thing I love about this deck is like in other decks like Value Town that I was playing, you cringed whenever your opponent killed your dork. And in this one, it's like it's pretty, pretty okay. If your opponent kills one of your dorks, I'm uh, I'm good with it, and I am still recording. Good. Pillage. That's you know that's just rude. It's not nice. That's what it comes down to. He has two cards in hand. Do I post mortem lunge play a druid? No, I can't. Never mind. That was stupid. Let's, uh... If he Blood Moons me next turn, I'm, I'm a little screwed here. That's just not cool, dude. But I will say one nice thing. We can pay two of any color. Post Mortem Lunge back a Noble if we need to. Okay, missed the land drop, which means he has just a ton of action in his hand. Let's go here. Let's try to force out his uh, his removal. I hate that I'm not finding fetch lands because Blood Moon. Blood Moon's a definite. He might have sided out Blood Moon though. I could definitely see him. I mean, it shuts off Gavany Township and stuff, but like. 
Maybe he just wanted to bring in Pillage and side it out Blood Moon just so he could sort of like target. This might be a Chandra. Okay. If we didn't miss our land drop, so what do we need? We need four mana for this. No, we don't. We need two mana for this. Helps if I read the card. So we play Devoted Druid. We hope that he takes this down and blows it up. We need one more white source. We need to draw one more mana. If we draw another mana next turn and it happens that like... Wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. We need a mana in two turns. That way we can... We're going to play Druid next turn. Hope he kills it. And then... It is... People are setting off fireworks. It's intense. Is he saying anything? Nope. So we play Druid next turn. He down ticks Chandra. He kills it. Then the following turn, provided we draw a white source, we play Vizier. No. We play Postmortem Lunge for two. Okay, so here's our white source. Unless he draws... I think he sided out Blood Moons. We can't really play around it anyway. Like, I need to go this line, I think. So let's just get another Temple Garden. If he plays a Blood Moon, he plays a Blood Moon. Um... It just, it is what it is. I guess I didn't need to do that either. That was dumb. Let's play Druid. It's sort of all coming together. So you not want to tick up Chandra? So we can play Vizier if he goes to kill this. I'm really confused. I'm confused why he didn't do anything with this Chandra. Did he like accidentally click through? No. He might have some real life jazz going on. Provided nothing's in his hand, like if I were him, I probably would have down ticked to kill the druid just to keep the, the combo off the board. Or right now, respond and kill the freaking druid with a card that's in your hand. But then I'm just kind of wondering why he didn't uptick Chandra. Okay. Well, we got through Scred Red. I don't know what was up with uh, our opponent on that last line there. Um, but I don't know, maybe he didn't have anything and he got frustrated cause he knew we had the combo. Uh, but uh, he could have, could have killed one of our creatures, could have killed the Druid, but okay. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed those couple games. Uh, this is punt factor bringing you all the green, white stuff. Um, we didn't get a chance to really see like deputy do much work, uh, but we saw postmortem lunge where, where that could have been really sweet. 
uh, we got lucky and, and saw it, you know, both games. Now it didn't really, it wasn't relevant, but there it very easily could have been relevant, but our opponent just decided to concede. Um, cool, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for more. This is Punk Factor.